scientists are using the new powerful James Webb Space Telescope to search for signs of life on the exoplanet Proxima b. These lights may be the final piece of evidence needed to prove that this planet is populated by aliens. There is a probability that a moon or planet in space contains life because there are more than a quadrillion planets in just our galaxy. In other words, technologically superior alien life may already be present there. There has been a long-standing human interest in the possibility of life beyond Earth. However, a planet very similar to Earth in size and proximity was just discovered, and it may hold the key to solving all of our questions. The James Webb Telescope will be able to solve all of them. The first step in learning about Proxima b is defining an exoplanet, which are planets discovered beyond the solar system. These planets' motions and identities are currently completely mysterious. Before the creation of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists lacked a reliable tool to look for them. Because of this, they resorted to using a wide range of techniques, including transit photometry and Doppler spectroscopy. Proxima b is 4.24 light-years away, making it one of the nearest known exoplanets to Earth. The nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, orbits the companion star Proxima b. The 2016 discovery of Proxima b, a planet in the habitable zone of its star, has led scientists to this conclusion. These exoplanets, including Proxima b, may currently be hiding alien life, but finding them is extremely difficult. What sets this exoplanet apart from the billions of others in the galaxy? Scientists were stunned by the artificial light emanating from Proxima b. They started to consider the possibility that there is intelligent life on the planet's night side, and that this civilization might be more technologically advanced than our own. How will they be able to research an exoplanet that is both distant and difficult to locate? Most of you already know this, but here's a little primer on the James Webb Telescope that makes this feasible. This telescope's principal benefit is its capacity to see through dust clouds using enormous mirrors with gold coatings, making it the largest and most powerful telescope ever built. When the infrared light is reflected off these mirrors, it will form an image that is beyond our comprehension. Among the first exoplanets the JWST will study is Proxima b, as it offers the best potential for detecting extraterrestrial life. A planet needs to have conditions similar to Earth before life can thrive there. Let's start by contrasting Earth with Proxima b to learn more about its remarkable qualities. The mass of Proxima b is 1.27 Earth radii. While our Sun is 93 million miles away, the Sun of Proxima b is only 4.6 million miles away. Despite being 5% farther from the Sun than Earth, Proxima is widely regarded to be habitable by scientists. Despite the fact that Proxima Centauri is 44,000 times fainter than the Sun, scientists believe that water could exist on the surface of Proxima be within its habitable zone. Infer the presence of landforms like mountains. On Earth, the distance between Earth and Proxima right now is 4.24 light-years. Despite how far it seems from Earth, it's actually only a short distance away. At this time, Proxima b is tidally locked and moves in sync with the rest of the solar system. For the first time in 11 days, to put it plainly, there is always light on one side of Proxima b and total darkness on the other. When viewed from Earth, the movement resembles that of the Moon. You can now see why this exoplanet is so important in the hunt for alien life. Scientists are making great efforts to detect any artificial light emanating from the surface of Proxima b as part of their research on the possibility of extraterrestrial life on the planet. One of these is Avi Loeb, an astronomer from Harvard University, who claims that both the sunlit and dark sides of Proxima b can be illuminated by man-made light. The light curves of the planet and its star on the night side will be calculated with the help of the James Webb Telescope bright people who have always been hidden from view. Don't you think they'd stop noticing after a while? Many animals on Earth are known to have the ability to see in total darkness. Since this is the only association we have with artificial light, they may just be terrestrial animals. 
Another issue is the high levels of X and UV radiation that reach the bright side of Proxima b. Consequently, the probability of habitability plummets. However, the chances that there is life there are increasing. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, is motivated in part by the desire to make new discoveries. Over 20,000 red dwarf stars are being scanned for transmissions. The Allen Telescope, another powerful telescope, is being used for the hunt. Another plot twist in recent years saw the discovery of a unique radio signal emanating from Proxima b, bringing the planet to the forefront of consciousness. This signal was picked up by the radio telescope in Sydney Park, Australia. Strange as it may seem, the signal was noticed for nearly 30 hours until it faded away. Every time they angled the antenna away from Proxima Centauri, they lost contact. Everyone's fixation on Proxima B can be traced back to this inexplicable, weird signal. After all, why shouldn't they be? This is the very first instance of an unknown signal from this species being sent to Earth. We must investigate Proxima B as an exoplanet immediately. For this reason, they plan to dispatch a nanocraft to the sea. Apologies, but no astronaut will make it that far with the tools we presently have. In this case, we're talking about the groundbreaking Starship project. It's a $100 million endeavor to deploy a nanotech-enabled spaceship to the Proxima B system. However, it would have taken a conventional nanocraft a great deal of time to travel that distance. Despite this, they'll be projecting it with lightning-fast lasers. The speed it achieves is only 20% of the speed of light. In terms of velocity, this would be an entirely human creation. That means we can cut down the time it takes to get there from thousands of years to only two centuries. Kepler 452b, Kepler 186f, and other exoplanets like them show that Earth-like planets can be found in the universe and are indeed habitable. These are the sole objects in our galaxy, out of the quadrillions that could possibly exist, here. A 2012 research indicated that about 22% of the stars in the Milky Way are about the same size as the Sun currently. There may be an Earth-sized planet in orbit around one of these stars. Is it possible that the 200 billion planets they predicted may be habitable are all uninhabitable? So that's the conclusion they drew. Albeit, obviously, there's still a lot more to investigate and learn. The only sure thing about space is that there's always room for improvement. Something unexpected will always occur. Since Proxima is the closest star to Earth, following its progress will be a fascinating adventure. What do you think about the likelihood of life on Proxima b or any other planet out there? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting space news and James Webb Space Telescope updates. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you into another incredible space story. See you there.